From the 700 WLW Newsroom, here's Brian Combs. Big stories you're talking about on the big one today, preparing for severe weather in the Tri-State. This is Severe Weather Awareness Week. There was supposed to be a statewide tornado drill this morning with sirens going off, but had to be canceled because there is the threat of severe weather today in Ohio. We have one round of storms moved through the Tri-State already. Another even stronger line could come through later this afternoon or early this evening. Hit a high of 71 today. The Fox 19 Storm Tracker forecast, though, says that the cold front rolls in tonight. The rain could mix with snow before it ends this evening or early tomorrow morning. For the weekend, looks like temperatures are just going to stay in the 40s. Does Ryan Whitmer deserve a new trial? It would be the fourth for the man just convicted of killing his wife in Warren County if Judge Neil Bronson agrees. This afternoon at 4 o'clock, the judge holds a hearing as to whether or not there was juror misconduct in this latest case that ended in a conviction and put Whitmer away for life for the murder of his wife in Hamilton Township in Warren County. The defense claims that there were some inappropriate comments made by jurors to the paper and to the social networking site, Facebook. We'll have the hearing this afternoon covered for you. Search goes on for a woman wanted for abduction and now wanted for escape. 25-year-old Dawn Dixon was one of the people involved in that van jacking in Covington last week. There was a little boy inside the van when they took off. She was captured by Cincinnati police, taken to Good Sam Hospital because she was seven months pregnant, suffered some injuries, but she walked away from the hospital yesterday. It's not clear if the hospital was responsible for the security, or if Cincinnati police were. The bottom line is Dixon's again on the run. If you see her, call Crime Stoppers at 352-3040. We're waiting to find out if the most wanted man in Butler County will still be brought back to the Tri-State to stand trial. We understand that he is in custody in Mexico City. All that's left is for fingerprint tests to confirm that the man the police there have is the same man wanted for the 2005 rape of a nine-year-old in Hamilton. If the tests pan out, extradition hearing will be held. Try and bring that guy from Mexico City back to Butler County for trial. Poor marks for Ohio's governor. New poll out today shows that only 30 percent of the people in the state approve of the job he's doing. Same poll finds that most people believe that collective bargaining rights should be preserved for public employees. Big Mega Millions jackpot on the line now could be one of the biggest ever. Top 10 $304 million is the prize for Friday because nobody hit the winning numbers last night. Mega Millions played in 43 states, including Indiana, Kentucky, and Ohio.